Once you publish your reports to Power BI service, you see many amazing features, including email subscription to report pages. It was very tedious to create email subscriptions with personalized filters and email subjects. But now with the presence of new dynamic subscription, this is very easy. This feature was enabled only for paginated reports. But now it is in preview for all Power BI reports. In this video, let's understand how to enable it for the end users. All right, here I have this Power BI report, which I have created for ABC Pareto classification for my products, where class A products has 80% contribution in the total sales, and class C products has less than 5% contributions in my total sales amount. The requirement is to send email notifications to these email IDs with automatic filter applied for these continents. We can mention many other filters, same as we create the security table for row level security. We could also mention the email subjects. For example, email subject for this region is daily report for North America and similar for other continents. As said, this is just an example, but we can set multiple filters on different columns. Now, I will import the access table inside my model. For this dynamic email subscription, we can actually publish that access table separately and use it. But if we import it here in this model, we can also use it for row level security. Now I can just publish this report to one of the premium or fabric capacity workspace. Open the report and then click on subscribe to report. Since I don't have any existing subscription, I will create a new one. Select this dynamic per recipient option. Here I need to select the dataset which has the access table. Since it is available in the same dataset, I will select this. And then I can select my access table, which currently has these three columns. In the next step, instead of manually entering email IDs, I can select this option where I can refer the email ID column from my access table. Similarly, I can use the dynamic email subjects for each user, which is mentioned in the email subject column in my access table. You can also mention the attachment format same way. By default, it is in PDF format. After this step, we have the most important option, which is to set up dynamic filters mentioned in our access file. Here we can search for the column where we want to apply the filters. Remember that it is not necessary to have that filter as a slicer on your report page. You can just select the relevant column and map it to the column of the access table. If you have other filters on other columns, you can add it again for the next one. Now I can set up for a recurring schedule. In this case, I would like to receive the emails after my data is refreshed successfully every day. After all these steps, let's save the subscription and check if it is working properly. For this, I can just open the email subscription and click on send now button to test if it works properly or not. And here we go. I have received the email notification. Since this email ID was granted access for North America, the email subject is personalized. And also I got the report attachment only for North America. Remember that, I have it enable row level security in this example. But if you want to restrict the access, you can easily do so. Earlier we have posted many videos related to static and dynamic row level securities. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.